What's up, everybody? Go Burns, welcoming you to the first Discuss episode of 2017. And as promised, I'm bringing this series back on a more regular basis. That's the plan, either weekly or bi-weekly, depending on whether or not I'm able to successfully come up with a topic every week. And this is how it's going to work, a little differently than previous Discuss episodes. What I'll do is on Mondays, I will tweet out a question and you'll have about a day to reply either via Twitter, Facebook, you can do it by email, goburns at gmail.com, or you just wait till the end of this video, I'll have the discussed topic ready to go for next week, and you can reply below in the comment section, so whatever floats your boat. Anyway, so this discussed topic is going to be about Mafia 3 content ideas, and yes, I already uh, submitted a question a couple days ago, and I got a lot of response from you guys. You're awesome, by the way. The Mafia question was this. If you could add one thing to Mafia 3, what would it be? And I lumped up the responses in categories. So unlike the Q&A series I do, we're not really going to go individual by individual. We're just going to go by groups because some of you actually had similar ideas that would work together in the same uh, train of thought. So I kind of boxed them together like that and just discussed topic. Okay, so first off, let us start with my friends over at 2K Central, another awesome channel that covers Mafia 3. And this one's from Martin. You got Martin and you got Taylor over there doing a great job with their Mafia 3 coverage. Go Burns! Oh damn, Go Burns! You asked a hard-hitting question, good sir. Firstly, there's clearly a few features I'd like to see added to the game. Improving the police system, gun, and clothing stores. But choosing one, I'd like to see them add more depth to the rackets. Other gangs attacking Lincoln's businesses, thus affecting the earn and kickbacks we receive from Burke, Vito, and Cassandra. And this is how it's going to work, lumping categories together. Because Young Knight also mentioned something about wanting gang wars in Mafia 3. And then, of course, you got ATM wanting something to do with, uh, you know, the Mafia 2 uh, cop system or co-op. And we'll just go with the cop system. All right, so first off, let's talk about what Martin said over at 2K Central is uh, the gang wars and uh, also uh, Young Knight, too, because we had this discussion back and forth. The idea that you simply just don't take over a, a racket. You have to keep it. Like, whenever you're driving around the map, you will get reprisals, retaliations from Sal Marcano. They'll chase you down, and you can either fight them, get killed by them, or do what I like to do, and I'll drive over to uh, like one of the uh, racket locations uh, to where some of Vito's or Cassandra's or Burke's goons are hanging out, and it causes a nice little firefight, and usually the, the guys chasing me end up getting murderized. It's a lot of fun, but I think what they're envisioning is something on a much bigger scale especially with uh, what uh, Martin said at 2K Central regarding the gang attacks. It would just be really cool if whenever you spawn at one of your uh, various rackets throughout New Bordeaux that all of a sudden, you know, several cars would just pull up front and you would see, uh, I guess, either uh, Sal Marcano's uh, gang roll out at you or maybe even the remnant of Sal Marcano's gang because, I mean, in order for it to still work or be functional, it would have to still have uh, some sort of existence uh, post the story in Mafia 3. So maybe uh, some members of Sal Marcano's gang survived and they want revenge, or they're simply trying to take up a piece of the city as well. It would be kind of cool if they introduced, like, say, the triad. That would be kind of neat. If they had, like, the triad would just come out of nowhere after Sal Marcano's gone and they would just become more of a nuisance to you, or a different Italian faction, maybe a uh, surviving nephew or niece of Sal Marcano. That'd be kind of cool. And it, it ties into another idea that Knight and I were discussing regarding the gang wars. What if instead of uh, just doing some of the uh, takeovers, you know, just with Lincoln going alone, except for his ability to call in uh, some hired guns from Vito, what if some of them were set to where you actually rolled in on, on a big, like, uh, attack, a big battle with Sal Marcano's gang, and you had some of Burke's people or uh, Cassandra's or Vito show up, and not only do you have to take over the turf, you have to do it with at least one of their, you know, one of Burke's or one of Cassandra's or one of Vito's people still alive. So if Sal's goons manage to kill all Vito's henchmen or all of Burke's or Cassandra's henchmen, it fails. You have to start over. I mean, they, I mean, their henchmen do a good job fighting back, but they're just basically NPCs fighting for you. 
it would just be really cool if there was like a little extra tension if it added a little bit something more to the uh, fighting in Mafia 3. And that's one thing I really wanted to see in the uh, casino fight. Instead of going it alone as Lincoln, what if Burke, Vito, Cassandra, or whatever underbosses you kept would actually show up with their guys to help you, you know, with one final battle against Sal and Georgie at the casino. That would be really cool if that would have transpired, but alas, it does not. And talking about ATM's thought regarding the Mafia 2 cop system, which Martin also touched up on, I really, really wish that Hangar 13 would have stuck with that, even though it was kind of annoying in Mafia and Mafia 2, whenever you, you happen to speed pop by, by a cop, you know, they'll come after you, they'll pull you over, and you can either bribe them, you can either pay a ticket, or else you can try and run for it, or they're going to arrest you or kill you. I feel that that's very lacking in Mafia 3, especially since there is a speedometer in the game when you're driving around. What's the point of the speedometer if we can't, if we don't have to worry about, you know, following the speed limit in the game? And the fact that, you know, they wanted to make this issue about Lincoln Clay, you know, living during the times of uh, civil rights in the late 60s and the fact that he is half black would mean that he would be more suspect by the police. They'd harass him more than the average white citizen of New Bordeaux. And yeah, when you're driving by, you, you get this little arrow thing indicating that the cops are looking at you, but that's all they do. They just look at you as you drive by, even if you're going like 100 miles an hour in your uh, drifter muscle car. It's no big deal. It feels like Vito's more pressed in Mafia 2 by the police than uh, Lincoln is in Mafia 3. So yes, I definitely would like to see a, a better cop system that was a little bit more oppressive in Mafia 3, similar to the way it was in Mafia 2, even though it was kind of annoying, especially when you were doing like a mission and you're trying to get to Leo's house and you had to speed to get there, but it would give you a way if a cop just happened to drive by in Empire Bay, they would be chasing you and making it more difficult for you to get to Leo's. Maybe during missions, uh, that would be shut off, but in between missions, when you're just free roaming it or doing side quests, then if the cops catch you speeding, then they'll come after your ass and you either have to pay the fine, bribe them, or uh, run for your life. And attack onto the discussion that we're having with uh, ATM, Young Gun, and of course, Martin at 2K Central. Uh, this is what Jesse had to say over at Facebook. <laughs> the ability to put people in your car trunk. Only if... You can drive them down the bayou and feed them to gators, Jesse. That's the only reason why I would do it. Continuing, actually, it's to be able to interact with the stores, other elements of the open world in Mafia 3. Martin pointed this out in his 2K Central video, and I completely agree with him. For building such an open world-focused game, there's absolutely nothing to do other than driving and killing. It would be so nice to be able to walk into a store and buy a plate of food, walk into a clothing store and buy some new outfits, or be able to walk into a car dealership and buy a new car, and the ability to you know add more vehicles to your fleet. Now, that's an idea I'm going to bring up in just a second. I don't know if this also covers adding the ability to fill up your gas tank or gas station. We'll talk about gas in a moment because several of you, you know, chimed in about that as well. Yes, you should definitely go check out Martin's latest video at 2K Central. It talks about the things that were left out or the things that are wrong with Mafia 3. And when Martin and Taylor from 2K Central or I make videos criticizing Mafia 3, it's not out of hate because we absolutely love the Mafia franchise. We realize the guys at Hangar 13 were probably under a lot of pressure from Take 2 to get Mafia 3 out by October 7th, the deadline, in order to get the holiday sales. We understand that. But at the same time, you know, I'm not wearing rose-colored glasses and there were some issues with the game. It's a lot better now, thanks to the patches that have come out. But at the same time, a lot of stuff that they've added, the free updates, like uh, different clothing options, vehicle customization, the races, which I'm doing on Saturdays and racing badly. Yeah, those things should have been in the game at launch, along with a few other things that were obviously not included. And Jesse, you're completely right. I really wish that there was a lot more stuff to do interaction-wise in Mafia 3. Now, regarding vehicles, because I'm going to talk about this real quick, one of the things I have had issue with in the game is the inability for us to take vehicles off the street like we could in Mafia 2, customize them, and add them to our fleet. And maybe the system that Hangar 13 has set up prevents us from doing that. Okay, fine. Make it to where we have the ability to either unlock additional vehicles that are driving around, because there's a lot of really cool sports cars I'd like to have. You know, either unlock them through various side quests or missions or, like Jesse said, the ability to go to a car dealership 
and purchase those vehicles because you can make a lot of money by the end of the game. And all you're doing is when you're doing the races, when you're collecting uh, your cuts from your underbosses, is you're just stacking the money. And it would be nice if we had the ability to spend the money on something, which leads me to another idea I will mention at the end of the video. All right, let's go back to everyone else's discussed topics. Okay, next, of course, is Carlos Martinez. He tweeted me this. Do you think uh, we're ever going to get the old weapon wheel back in Mafia 3? And several people liked the way the original weapon wheel looked during the uh, beta, what, a, a year ago? And unfortunately... With a lot of things, for whatever rhyme or reason, Hangar 13 decided to scrap the original version of the will in favor of the, what the will looks like now. And I completely understand why people have issue with the way it is now because it only allows you to have up to two firearms and uh, one set of explosives. Or, you know, you do have the ability to cycle between your explosives. It's, it's kind of tricky to do. It's not that difficult, but you have to go up to the will and then cycle between it. But it only allows you to carry a handgun or a pistol or a revolver along with either a rifle, shotgun, etc. Now, a lot of people hate that, Carlos. I personally don't because this is one of the ways it sets Mafia 3 apart from Grand Theft Auto is the fact that you are limited to the weapons you carry. You're not a walking arsenal. But at the same time, I really do think that we could at least have like a third weapon, like a heavy weapon, like a, a machine gun or a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher as our third weapon to tie in along with uh, the rifle, the shotgun, along with a pistol or revolver. So I think if they would have added say like one more like you know weapon that you could carry around at all times along with the pistol revolver shotgun rifle etc i think it would have made it felt a little bit better so that's my thought about weapons in mafia 3 and unfortunately you know it's just the way it goes when it comes to some of the stuff they come up with in the beta that gets scrapped or upgraded or tweaked replaced by the final product and personally that's my only real gripe concerning the uh, will in Mafia 3 as is. The fact that we don't have an additional heavy slot for some of the other weapons. Next we go to Crazy Quiet Gaming as well as Nathan. This is what they have to say regarding this discussed topic. The ability to do side activities like drinking on your own or with Vito and Burke. And of course Nathan chimed in. I'd probably have the ability to either eat or drink to raise health or just for fun. Okay, I like the idea Nathan of having a purpose to eating in the game. Similar to, what was it, uh, let's see, Grand Theft Auto 4, as well as Grand Theft Auto Online, and I think Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the health, you could also raise it back up if you just simply got something to eat, whether it was like a burger, pizza, hot dog, etc. Or, in Grand Theft Auto Online, snacks. <laughs> I do like that idea. You know, you, you could go into a restaurant, get yourself a steak, or a po' boy, or some gumbo, because it is New Bordeaux, based on New Orleans, and you eat it real quick, and then it raises your health back up for Lincoln Clay. That's a good idea. And, you know, drinking just for fun, guys, I, I think it should have been added to the game because New Bordeaux is based on New Orleans, and New Orleans is a very, very fun party town. That's why a lot of people go there for Mardi Gras, uh, for drinking for the various uh, festivals and concert shows they have on, like Voodoo, etc. And... They could also show the negatives of drinking, similar to Grand Theft Auto Online, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, and I think Grand Theft Auto 4. Whenever they would drink, the characters, you would see them drunk as a skunk just moving around and the camera angle just getting all wobbly and blurry. Whenever they get in a car, the car is just swerving out of control and it increases the probability of the uh, police coming after you for drinking and driving. So, yeah, I kind of wish they would have had drinking in Mafia 3 as well. And something that Crazy just brought up in this topic, uh, the ability to uh, go drinking with Vito, Burke, or Cassandra. That's something that's very lacking in Mafia 3. The opportunity for us to actually spend some time with the underbosses in between missions. And that'd be really cool. You know, similar to, uh, you know, Michael, Trevor, Franklin, their ability to hang out and go drinking or go to the strip club or play tennis, whatever. It'd be kind of cool if there was some side stuff you could do with Vito, Burke, and Cassandra, non-mission oriented, and you know some conversations pop up. You learn a little bit more about them. You uh, end up boosting your relationship with each of them. 
it would be a lot of fun if you had that ability to go hang out with Vito, Burke, and Cassandra, whether it's drinking, listening to some good jazz down in the French Ward, or uh, you know, tossing people into the bayou to feed the gators. It's all good fun, right? <laughs> okay, next we go to, let's see, just a guy who likes anime, Thomas Wilson, and of course, Kirsch. Their questions, each different, but they kind of mesh together. First off, we'll go to just a guy. He would like a Game Plus added in Mafia 3. And then Thomas Wilson's very similar. His uh, idea is uh, the ability to replay missions. And then uh, Kirsch, the ability to save the game. Now, obviously, the game is auto-saved. And one of the ways you can do it real easily is go find one of the collectibles or grab one of those little fuses. And the moment you collect it, it automatically saves it. But I understand where you're coming from, Kirsch. We'll get to that in a moment. First, we'll start with just a guy. I actually think that a Game Plus is a very good idea for this game. You, you get all the weapons, you get all the upgrades, all the customizations. And if you want to start over the game, you start over and you have all the good stuff. But the enemy is way more difficult to kill. They're way more of a, of a pain in the ass or else your health bar is just a little bit lower. I think that's a fantastic idea. I really wish there was a Game Plus in Mafia 3, and I hadn't thought about that until you brought it up, so uh, that's a good one, just a guy. Next, of course, is Thomas regarding replay missions, which I also think this is a good idea. So if you do a mission and you get like rated a silver, and you could have done way better, or you want to go back and do the mission differently, say you went in guns blazing the first time, and the second time you want to go in all stealth-like, I think that would be a fantastic idea. I think that we should have the ability to replay missions. So two great ideas, guys. Very good. Now, regarding saving the game, this is something I really wish we had in the game. Now, obviously, it auto-saves. Duh. Now, what I think Kirsch was talking about is multi-save files. The ability to have you know several files to choose from, like up to, say, five or three or whatever. Three is better than what we have right now, which is one. Like, if you beat the game and you, you ended up with all three underbosses and say you want to start over, but you don't want to delete that save file. You just want to start over and screw over Burke and Cassandra and just you know, see how it plays out by giving everything to Vito. That would be cool to do. I really wish we had that ability, but you, you really don't have it, unfortunately, currently in the game. I just wish we had multiple save files to where you could do that, where you could go play it a different way uh, you know, with a save slot one, all underbosses, slave slot two, you go with uh, Vito, slave slot three, you go with Cassandra, etc. So, yeah, definitely some great ideas content wise that I really wish was in Mafia 3 Game Plus, uh, replay missions, as well as multiple save files, all of which are severely lacking in the game. Next, we go to Noose Ryan Gaming along with Ryan Thompson. Now, what Jesse brought up a moment ago chimes into what they were going to talk about. Now, New said this, I would add a fuel system to Mafia, like Mafia 2, and of course it was also in Mafia 1, and uh, Ryan also agrees, you know, regarding the issue of running out of gas. Now, I think originally from uh, one of the interviews, this was going to be a thing in Mafia 3, but apparently affected the driving mechanics in the game, and so they made the decision to remove gasoline from Mafia 3, which is unfortunate, because... It wasn't as big of a deal in Mafia 2 as it was in Mafia 1. You could easily run out of gasoline in Mafia 1. But it did happen occasionally in Mafia 2 if you weren't careful. But it would have added a little bit more realism to the game if we had this, this one other thing to contend with, along with uh, speeding or you know happen to hit a car in front of a cop. Yeah, that was part of the uh, police mechanics as well back in Mafia 2 and the first Mafia game. So, yeah. I wish that looking back, we actually had these things that I, I kind of sort of sometimes found as a nuisance in Mafia, Mafia 2. I, I kind of missed them in Mafia 3 because I think it, it set Mafia apart from other games. The ability to actually, you know, in between missions, I think would be best to, you know, follow the speed limit and not hit other cars and, you know, having to watch the uh, fuel gauge on your vehicle because you might run out of gas, and if you do, you're stranded in the middle of nowhere. It could be down the bayou or, or up in Frisco Field. So, yeah, I really wish that uh, they would have kept the gas system in Mafia 3. Once again, shout-outs to everybody. Martin at 2K Central, Young Knight, ATM, Jesse, Carlos, Crazy, Nathan, Just a Guy, Thomas Kirsch, Noose, Ryan, for submitting your uh, content ideas for Mafia 3. And before we wrap up, I actually have two more. So it's not over yet, baby. First off, something I mentioned a few times. I'm going to get this one out of the way really quick. 
Fast travel. I really think that fast travel is something that's missing in Mafia 3. The ability to at least fast travel between the uh, rackets or hideouts, that would be really cool. And uh, yeah, I really wish we had fast travel in Mafia 3. Now, when it comes to fast travel and adding more vehicles to the fleet, those are both kind of givens. That's something a lot of us would very much like to see added to Mafia 3. So I'm not including those as my quote-unquote one idea. This is it. Customizing, upgrading the mansion and the bayou, which we're introduced to after we've officially liberated Vito's district, Cassandra's district, and Burke's district. We have the first sit-down at the mansion, and I think after that point, that should be Lincoln's base of operations. He should actually have his own pad, his own crib, his own home and fortress in the game. The only other place he has is what's left of Sammy's. And I think that's ridiculous after this point. And this is another way you could actually spend the money in the game that you earn, building up your mansion. And you'd be able to buy upgrades to the mansion. You could customize it to some degree. Perhaps it's a place where you could actually have a garage to go look at some of your vehicles or at least access your vehicles without having to call Jackie. It would just be really cool if we had the ability to uh, have more of a use for the mansion than just sit-downs. And what would be really cool is you could actually station some of Vito's or Burke's or Cassandra's goons to help you know, protect and defend the mansion should there be a gang attack from Sal Marcano. That would be awesome as well. Well, Sal Marcano, the Dixie Mob, or the Southern Union you know, the ability to fight one or all of them. And you could say that, you know, one of those two factions would be one of the factions you'd have to deal with in uh, gang wars. The Dixie Mob or the Southern Union, you know, always being a nuisance to you, depending on which of the districts you happen to be in. But anyways, those are all the uh, ideas that were submitted by myself and everybody else for uh, this Discuss video for Mafia 3 New Content Ideas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure and hit the like button. And next week's Discuss topic will be about Grand Theft Auto Online. So, if you're a Grand Theft Auto Online fan and you have an idea for what you would like to see for a future DLC in 2017 for Grand Theft Auto Online, be sure and either leave it below in the comments section, tweet it my way, Facebook it to me, or you can email me, goburns at gmail.com.